Tariq, how is she? Well, she for yourself. Well, how's the baby? Is he okay? In some kind of danger? I need to know. I'm not a ghost. I can fix whatever problem I'm in. Whoever took him from me is gonna pay. Bottom line. Who was it? We will not stop until we get this guy. Dirty cop Peter Diana B. What? If you're... We're all at risk now. What makes you think you can trust Davis or Tariq? I don't trust either of them. What up, what up? JM, we are locked in. This is my last thoughts and the breakdown of exclusive photos for episode seven of Book Two Ghost. Remember, we only have four episodes left. We had about eight bodies drop in episode six, so I'm expecting at least three to five in this episode. And we're going to find out if that Tejada St. Patrick baby actually survived. Now, I don't believe it did, but you're in the right spot. And make sure you tune in tonight for Are We Ready, where we take all the clips and photos and we try to piece together episode seven but if you like power content breakdowns theories and predictions like this after show discussions then hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get something every time i upload make sure you hit that like button i'm on that road to 50k and we need about 50 subscribers so if you aren't subscribed which 83 percent of you guys aren't then help a brother out hit that subscribe button but let's go ahead and jump into it this is my last thoughts and exclusive photos for episode seven the first photo I like to point out, we see Diana in all black, Monet in all black, Tariq in all black. Now this looks like he may have just left Tasha's house where we seen the exclusive clip for this week, but it shows that Diana made it out of the hospital and she's alive, so she may have lost a baby. But one thing we know about all black, there's only one thing you could be doing in all black in the power universe. Well, that's about to go step on something. So when we seen Diana with her hands above her head, slamming something down this might be diana's first body that she's going to catch and we all know that it's looking like all roads are leading to felicia everyone's been hitting me up talking about bye felicia i said well you might be right and these three in all black is a scary sight because if diana becomes a demon then it is over with the whole tahada family is on go i did a whole video on felicia and everyone's been hitting me up talking about bye felicia and i agree that's why i made the video her walls are closing in on her her boss is like come and see me don carter's gonna have to get rid of her she does have the footage of Tariq, so right now she's all over the place she's probably going to be talking to don hey i got the footage of Tariq. Tariq took out zion can you help me out but i think what don is going to do is trying to leverage Tariq, Braden, davis all in a different direction and then put the body of Zion on Felicia and just get her out of here because if she gets to talking I could see her telling on everybody and bringing down the whole task force speaking of Don Carter we see Effie now it looks like Effie is on the computer and we know that she is very very tech savvy so it looks like they may have broke into Don Carter's spot because we see like a New York coffee mug up under her chin now her and Braden they're going to be teamed back up they are all working for Nome at this point, and they need to get rid of Don Carter. Now, this could be because Don has the footage that's on the camera that we are talking about Felicia have. So they could be erasing this of Braden and Tariq taking out Zion, or this just could be some fouls that Don Carter has on everyone in the city. We aren't sure, but that's what I'm assuming that Effie is doing, breaking into this house with Braden. The reason I say that Effie and Brayden are going to be breaking into the house is because there's a photo of them two together. And then we have this scene here with Kane inside the dorm room. Now, they're probably talking to Brayden and they're like, listen, whatever y'all got going on, you need to go with Effie and handle this situation. Especially because Felicia did what she did to Diana. So if Drew and Kane find out about that, they're going to be upset. We know that Kane. He is so strung out over Effie. He's gonna stand up for it just like he did with Noma. So it looks like he got his feet kicked up because he won't talk to Tariq like this. So he's probably talking to Brayden and saying, hey, you and Effie need to go break in that cop's house and go get any information you can because Don Carter still has Monet up under him. So Kane could be looking out for the whole family and showing his mom that I told you, I ain't no punk either. Tariq and Diana, in the all black having a conversation this might be Tariq telling her listen whatever happened to you don't worry i got your back whoever did this we're gonna go get her and we know in the trailer for this week Tariq is telling brayden that a dirty cop whooped on diana so Tariq definitely wants to make this right and i can see him 
telling Diana, this is what we got to do. You didn't want me in the dope game, but anybody that attacks somebody that I love, not saying Tariq loves her, but he's talking about the baby, then I'm definitely going to have to step up for it. And this could be Diana hearing this information. And she's like, I'm going to take matters into my own hands also. So these two teaming up, I told you guys, and Effie told us, these two will be the worst adults to bring a baby in. And that Tejada slash St. Patrick hybrid, that's a devil baby. Also, we know this week that Brayden and Tariq, they get fired by Stokely because the group doesn't want them there. Now, this could be the same scene where we see Kane and Effie talking to Brayden. Hey, we need to go break in. We need to go do this robbery. Or this could be right after the Stokely situation. We also know that Tariq is going to grab a gun. So Brayden at this point, he just stuck into this nonsense. He could go back and apologize to his family and leave the streets alone. But as they mentioned, Brayden is one of those ride or dies. And no matter what Tariq got going on, Brayden is going to be there. Just hopefully he isn't on that book of sugar. And hopefully, L, she doesn't pass away. Because in the trailer and in the clip, we hear Brayden basically mentioning like, is this because of L when he's talking to Stokely? So she might be in the hospital from like an overdose. Don Carter's gonna have to figure it out. He's gonna be lying to Rashad Tate about what happened to Kamal. One thing we know about Rashad, he ain't gonna give up that easy. Rashad's gonna figure out who is where and how are they doing it. So Don Carter, he gotta look out for his crew because Nico got Drew inside the infirmary whooping on people. Drew gave him an ultimatum, talking about you do this, I'll do that. Felicia, she got the footage and she's potentially about to get fired on top of Tariq, Diana, and Monet looking for him. So Don Carter is about to be the busiest police officer we've seen in the power universe because he's already the dirtiest. All right, there you go. A couple of my last thoughts, some predictions. Tune in tonight for Are We Ready? We'll go more in depth for this episode, but let me know. Who do you think will be unalive in episode seven out of our main characters? And what do you think the body count is? Over or under four? Let me know what you think. I'm on IJ. I'm on that road to 50K. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Thanks for watching. I'm out.